This is Shorty Lane Chaos, and you're watching Ward of the Woods. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to yet another episode of the cool mods we find for Minecraft. Alright, as you can tell, I changed my skin because I got super excited that I could finally do my Fursona Kanala. Uh, if you don't know, she's a arctic fox with dragon wings and eight tails. Alright. So, the mod we're going to be talking about today is called Inventory Pets. Basically, they're just little tiny pets that you can find all over the um, Minecraft world. You can also uh, create them, which I'll be showing you here shortly, with vanilla items. And each of them does a different thing. Alright, so the different areas that you can find these pets are um, underwater. Up in the sky, which you can kind of see one right over there, uh, out in the jungle, I believe, and then underground. So you actually have to go searching for them. And I've already done a little bit of work and gone looking for an underwater one because they are very hard to find. So it'll be something like this in the water one, where um, the sand kind of looks weird. Woo, there it goes. And every single chest acts as its own spawner. I'm not sure why that is. But as you can see, there's a mushroom pit and a bunch of loot, which we're not going to grab this time. Alright, so let's go ahead and get back on land. Boop. Alright, so in order to make these pets work, you have to have them in your harp hot bar so any of these spots right here and then they each have a different type of food that they have to eat in order to work but I'm in creative right now so um, whenever you have this in your hot bar you'll have a bone meal effect and it fills any of your empty bowls that you have with mushroom stew so you don't even have to look for the mushrooms you just automatically get the food so technically it's unlimited food which is kind of awesome um, so basically um, in order to make it work all you have to do is feed this cow a mushroom. Um, I believe it's right clicking with it, or right clicking the food onto the mushroom pit in your inventory, and then it'll fill up the mushroom stew whenever you right click or bone meal, like that. All right. So just to show you another way to find the pets, let's go ahead and go up in the sky and find us a cloud dungeon which there's one right now come on if you could fly a little faster that'd be awesome all right i believe blazes are gonna spawn here there they go oh those are so loud okay so we end up getting a double chest pet so when you right click it literally opens up a double chest. So as long as it's in your hot bar, you have a double chest on your person at all times. Which, in all honesty, is kind of amazing. And all you had to feed him is wood. That's it. Super simple. Alright, so let's go ahead and get into... Trap! Thank you. Let's go ahead and go into... Oops. Let's get rid of these guys for now. Oh, no, I'm going to need one. Uh, there's also holiday pets, but you can only get those during the holidays. I tried making them work, but they kept telling me it wasn't the right date, so I couldn't use them. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and grab... Oh, there we go. We got recipes already. Okay, so as you can see, something they've added is different nuggets for all the ores. Well... The iron nugget was already there, but there's a silverfish one. You can literally walk through walls with the silverfish pet. And we've tested it, and it seems to have a limit of six blocks. Um, alright, so... As you can see, they all eat different items. They all do different things. Uh, the Illuminati pet's pretty funny. That one, every single time you use it, it makes a little sound... And then it'll literally give you any random item in the game. And all you have to do is feed an emerald nugget. So you find an emerald, you get nine nuggets out of it, you get nine random items. Pretty simple. Oh, you need another star as well. Alright, I thought that was a little less difficult. Banana pet, you throw it just like you would a boomerang. Only problem is that you had to go get it. It doesn't come back. 
Um, enchanting table. Oh, it just enchants for you. I know there's another one called the potion pet that's around here. It is. And it brews a random potion, which I kind of find hilarious. All right, uh, let's go ahead and go into our inventory. Go into cheat mode real fast so I can show you some of this. Oops. No, you're not going to give it to me? No, I probably had to fix this. Because NEI is being very stubborn with me today. There we go, now I get it. Okay, so I can't use that. Alright, so I'm going to show you the sponge pet. I'm going to show you the potion pet, the Illuminati pet. Uh, the furnace set's pretty cool. You don't ever have to have a furnace with you ever again. Um, crafting table pet, that's pretty awesome. Uh, where's the dubstep pet? There's the, not the Enderman pet. A bunch of these are hard to remember. Spider pet, oh, you can actually climb on a wall. That's pretty cool. Uh, temporary shield on that one. Health regeneration. Some of these actually have um, longer effects that you can actually use like during a wither fight or something. Okay, let's go ahead and do you. Like group resistance would be good. Group regeneration would also be good. And all you have to do is feed it a poppy. Of all things, all you have to do is feed it a literal poppy. Uh, the gray pet's really good. It restores your inventory after death. Slow time. I've already tested that one out. Slime pet saves you from death. Alright. You can also set home with this one. Infinite arrows. That would be really helpful. Jukebox pet. <laughs> Just looking at all the different pets now. Trying to find the fun ones. Oh, that one's a fun one. I got that one. Can't do that one. Well, might as well show you that one. Alright, so let's grab underwater breathing. Oh, that's pretty cool. Well, let's just do these guys for now. Alright, so let's go ahead and show you the sponge pet, which he can place water and he can absorb water and walk on water. So we're going to go try walking on water. Oh, there goes with the placing of the water. Oh, it's literally a spawn block. A literal spawn block. That is handy. Alright. As you can see, we can go in the water right now, so let's go ahead and right click. And just like that, I am not flying. I promise. I'm not flying at all. Okay, maybe I was flying. Now I'm not. There we go, we're officially walking in water, so now we can cross that ocean. Alright, and again, as long as it's in your hot bar, it'll continue to work. Alright, brewing stamp pet. It dropped it. Okay, apparently I need to be somewhere where I can pick it up. Oh, there we go. Potion of regeneration, potion of swiftness, potion of swiftness. Let's just do it a couple more times. Night vision, water breathing, strength. And all you need to do to feed that one is another warp. Kind of like just what you would do with actual potions. Alright, so then there's the Illuminati. Alrighty, so while exploring around, I found this creeper pet, and of course you explode when you right click and you're immune to explosions, so I tried it out for myself, and voila, I did not die like you would normally for a creeper explosion. Alright, so I also grabbed myself some gunpowder because that's what the creeper pet eats, and alright, as you can see down here, you can see that it has its own little bar that tells you how full or not it is. Alright, remember there's 62 gunpowder. Now there's 61. It seems to self-feed, which is kind of awesome. So all you have to do is keep as much gunpowder as you want. 
and then you can just keep going. Alright, that was a little weird. I went to show you guys the Illuminati pet, and it kind of crashed my game. Coincidence? Question mark. Alright, so let's go ahead and reset our time. So that we can see. What do you mean? It's not right. That's oh, probably time set, isn't it? There we go. Alright, so let's go ahead and use the Illuminati pet. And we got Cyan Wool confirmed. Cake confirmed. Yellow stain clay. Another brick slab. Minecart with TNT. So it just gives you random items and some music to go with it. And a politically correct pet. I didn't realize it gave me that. Probably gave me that when I crashed. Alright. So wolf. Wolf cake. Maybe I had to use it on Wolfgang? No? What else does it do? Toggle wolf alarm. What does that even mean? I have no idea. I'll have to actually look that up for you guys. Alright, so let's go ahead and get rid of that. Next is the summoning of minions. Dear goodness gracious. As you can see, you got two technical endermen and technically a blaze. Oh, they're actually attacking their own minion. That's interesting. So if I hit this guy, he'll go after him? Yeah. That should probably be looked into. <laughs> Alright, and they do disappear after a short amount of time. Alright, ender chest pet. Just opens up an ender chest. Creeper pet. Oh my goodness. How do you even survive this? Oh my goodness gracious. I was about to say, fa favorite food's gotta be gunpowder. Oh my goodness, this is a good way to clear out an area. Oh my goodness gracious. But it also says that you're immune to explosions, so maybe you don't die from the explosion you do. Alright, another one is water breathing and swim boost. So I just right clicked it. Oh my goodness. I mean, I know I'm in creative, but holy crap. Do you not hear how fast I'm running? This is ridiculous. Oh, this is awesome. Alright, so let's go ahead and go back. Actually, I'll probably go faster if I swim. Oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. Alright, that's all I had to show you. Okay, so if you guys have any questions, go ahead and leave them down in the comments below. There's also a um, download link down below in the description as well. Alright, and you want to be part of the Water of the Woods family, be sure to subscribe to see our videos daily. Alright, and y'all have a nice night.